everybody. Happy New Year. That's right. You made it another year and I welcome you. Thank you for coming back. I've got this silly little video today. A really cool recipe. You can either do this on your barbecue pit or you can do this in your oven. It's going to be a quick bake queso tamale dip. You don't even have to get the crock pot out. You just put this in your oven. It all melts together and it's so good and it's it's not gonna break the bank. You're gonna, this is a bargain. You can feed a family, you can feed a party, or you can just have a couple of snacks for game day. And tomorrow, the Sugar Bowl is going on and my Texas Longhorns are playing the Washington Huskies. They're undefeated. I'm a little nervous. So that's what brings me back to my vintage glass. My vintage glass today is going to be the Hook'em Horns, McDonald's put this out in 1981 in Austin, Texas. I love it. I love it. So anyway, I don't bring it out a lot because I don't want to break it. <laughs> so let me take a big sip because I've got just a pink Moscato. So yum, refreshing, some ice. I was going to add a little Sprite, but um, I said, oh, I don't have time. So, mm. oh yeah, oh yeah, super good guys. Super soothing, super good. So come on back here real quick, guys. You may have all this already. Not gonna take you much, doesn't break the bank. So all you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to get your little, whatever plate you want. I just, I have these and I, I like these disposable plates because I get to throw them away. When they get all messy, I just throw them away. And this was probably just a tin that I had around, but I did do another one in a glass pan. So you decide. And to keep it from sticking, you're gonna start off with a little spray of the, and I already sprayed this, you're gonna spray a little bit of the canola oil in your, you know, the non-sticking spray. So just coat that, coat your pan with that, and you're going to get your Velveeta cheese, because that's what makes queso so great. And this was a big hit on TikTok a few years ago. I got this out of a barbecue magazine. I love it, I love this. And it's not that, you know, it's it's the, it's almost just like regular queso, but you don't have to add milk. And that's what I like about it. I'm like, oh, I don't wanna add milk, more dairy, you know. This is so simple. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this, you're gonna get your, well, let me start off with this. You're gonna get your peppers, if you want peppers. Add your hatch chilies, your jalapenos. You can do Rotel if you want to. It'll be a little bit wet. I try not to get this too wet because I don't want to puddle in here. So I do that. I do just the jalapeno peppers. This is one, one big tablespoon. And I do a little bit of the, and, and let me tell you guys, I only used half. I used half of the Velveeta, the big one. I only used half for this size pan. If you use a bigger pan, you're gonna have to use all of it, you know? So I thought this is medium size. This is a little bit of the cream cheese. Get whatever cream cheese you want. This is just a regular, you know, maybe Philadelphia or the Kroger brand. And I'm gonna get my tamales out. And you can use the regular tamales that you buy at the store, the Hormel, or you can even use your, that's what I was gonna show you, you can use a regular tamale. And we bought tamales, I was so excited. We bought tamales because I didn't get them at Christmas and I didn't get them at Thanksgiving and I wanted tamales, so we bought tamales. So you could add a regular tamale. And let me see, uh, of course I don't have a knife, okay. <laughs> and you could just add little pieces of your tamale, a regular tamale like I tell you, or the Hormel. And guys, these are $3. They're at the store. Get the paper off of them, cut them up, and you get your little tamale. So I'll incorporate a little bit of both. You can put this in little, you could layer this, or you could just put this in a little, you know, you know, whatever, just little areas like I'm doing. And the TikTok version shows it really pretty. And you can add tomatoes, add tomatoes to another area, and you can add your grated cheese. And the grated cheese just kind of just blends it better. I can't explain it, but it comes together. Oh my gosh. It's mouthwatering, I tell you. It's incredible. So anyhow, let me put a little bit of the tamales more in there. Oh, so I had some here. Okay. So, like I tell you, just add what you... And this is so forgiving, guys. If you don't like something in this, leave it out. Some people are like, I don't like hot stuff. I don't want tomatoes. Leave it out. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna bake this on 300 for 35 minutes. And that's it, that's it, 35 minutes. You can go in, you can blend this up after 35 minutes, 
just kind of, you know, stir it up or, or just blend it well. And then put it in there for about 10 more minutes and it's ready to go. That's how good this is. And through the magic of TV, like I tell you, oh my gosh, I've already got one made. I know my mouth has been watering all day because I wanted to try it. So I've already got this one. I hope it didn't cool down too much. But as you can see, look, it's already getting a little, I've been out here practicing. So as you can see, this is so good, guys. And I've got, grab your chips, grab your tortillas, grab whatever you want, or, you know, get some veggies out. You could do cauliflower and dip in there. And I've got this really, I've got this little, you know, just get your tortilla chips, like I tell you, but I got my plate out. I know you remember this. Five months ago, I did albums that I turned into chip plates and I turned them into chip bowls. If you want to see how I did that, I did that in a video about five months ago. But let me try this out because I'm, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm dying to try this out. Mm. Mm. Happy dance, happy dance. Oh yeah. And guys, if you want to, you can add a little bit of salt and pepper. You don't have to. Some people I noticed were adding like a little bit of barbecue grub on top or a little bit of, you know, spice or Cajun or Old Bay. You don't have to. With the jalapenos and the tomatoes and the cream cheese and everything, it's got such a good flavor. You don't have to do all that. So, oh my gosh. Uh, two thumbs up, guys, for this easy recipe. I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to like it, and it's so easy. And like I tell you, you could feed a party if you wanted to. So, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it out. And the reason I, I do the Hormel is because during the summertime, if I want this, I can't find... Right now, it's tamale season in Texas. There's tamales everywhere during Christmas. But if you can't find tamales, you can go towards... You can go and get canned tamales. So, but like I tell you, get the paper off first. <laughs> but this was so good. Oh my gosh. Bake on 300, 30, 35 minutes, and then go back, stir, you're good to go. So, let me clean my hands off. Let me put my board down here, and let me tell you what I'm doing for my craft. Okay, if you look behind me, I don't know if you can see this, but I, I bought a lot of corks. I went to a boutique that was going out of business in my hometown, and it's such a great shop, and she had all these corks, and I said, I've always wanted to do a craft made out of wine corks. And oh my God, I've been in heaven. Oh my gosh, I've been going nuts. So let me show you what I did. Okay, I made a lot of necklaces. I took old earrings, whatever broke. I did this, I did some beading. I had one of these leashes. All you're gonna need are these little picture frame hooks or you know the little picture set hooks or the coffee hooks. And I took the coffee, I took the little coffee hooks. Wait, where's, where's this one? I took the coffee hooks, I bent them with the needle nose pliers and I made the top and it was so easy to just attach the cord. So as you can see, here's an old earring that broke. I put this wire around it. I added a button to the bottom and there's my little, that's my little hook from the picture, the picture kit and I put my strand on here and I, I just loved it. It was so easy and you could add beading, you could do all this and guys, you can do it with nails. So here's my beads. And then I also did, I know, I got so excited about this. I'm gonna be doing all kinds of cork projects. So prepare yourself. It's gonna be a whole cork month. <laughs> and I did keychains, guys. I did these keychains. I did a bottle cap. Here's a bottle cap. Just flattened it with a hammer, put the little beads in, attach it with a nail and the coffee hook. And I bought these little, these are like 10 for a dollar. They come in a package. I think they're from the dollar store Michaels, but they're just keychain hooks, keychain rings. And I went ahead and made keychains. So I got necklaces and keychain. Here's another keychain. And as you can see, I just got little pieces of leather that I had off a skirt. And I got some tool and I just beaded it. And this is a champagne cork. That's why, that's why I was thinking about this. I was like, it's New Year's. People are gonna be popping champagne. They're gonna be opening wine. Save your corks. Make this cute little, make this cute little craft. I was so excited. Let me show you real quick. It's so easy, guys. You're just gonna screw that in there on the top. It's not gonna take you more than five minutes. And then you're gonna get a nail. Do I even have my nail? Yes, I do. I have a nail. Super easy. 
There's a little bead right here. Oh, here's a bead. Here's an orange bead. Okay. Well, that one might not be long enough. Let me go. Let me go to this one. Let me go towards my, let's see if this will go in here. Okay. So there's a pearl right there. And just press that in the bottom. Super easy. Okay, and then you're gonna put your ring on there. And you could decorate, you could beat it. Like I tell you, whatever you want. I love this craft, I always wanted to do this. I might do coasters next time. I might do all kinds of stuff. I've been thinking about it. I've been very excited about this because I don't drink a lot of wine. I'm more of a beer girl or a crown girl. So to get all these corks, I was so excited. <laughs> I was very excited. So anyway, I thank you for coming back. This, like I tell you, oh, oh, oh my gosh. And before I let you go, Missy A, thank you so much for these beautiful coins. Oh my God. I'm not going to be scratching with these beautiful coins. She sent me an Elvis coin. She sent me some stickers and a button and these beautiful coins. And I tell you anything with Elvis, I'm like, oh no, no, no. I can't, I can't damage that. So I'm going to be showing these off. I love them. They're going to be in my curio cabinet right when you walk into my house. So I love this. Missy A, thank you so much. And from uh, LA to Vegas, uh, Steph, you know who you are, LA to Vegas, Vegas Tele, LA to Vegas, love your channel. You wanted to see matchbooks. If you can see behind me, I went ahead and put some Christmas tree stuff on my matchbook collection. I have a whole vase full of matchbooks from a long time ago. And I thought I gotta show the I gotta show these off. So anyway, I just thought it was so funny. I was like, she wanted to see matchbooks. Here's some matchbooks. We have like about we have probably thousands of matchbooks. We love collecting them. We'd go to Vegas. We love collecting them. They were fun. You know, now I only find a few. I find some at Golden Gate, some at Circa. I don't find a lot. If you can see at the very top, I actually have a vintage El Cortez one that I bought somewhere. I actually had to pay for that, but I loved it. I wanted vintage stuff from Vegas and I loved it. So anyway, thank you for coming back, guys. Try this cool dip out because it's incredible. And big cheers, hook em horns tomorrow, sugar bowl. Don't forget to watch. Mm. Big sip, guys. Happy New Year. Bye. <laughs>